Yo, what is going on everybody? This is Samuel Brown, aka RBT, and today I'm coming at you with another episode of Cutting, coached by Chris Jones of POG. I know it's been a while since I've done an episode of this, but uh, that's pretty much because everything stayed the same. And today I'm doing this because it's my refeed day. Well, I mean, I obviously have lost weight. But all the foods and everything have stayed the same, so there's really no point in showing you guys what I'm going through eating throughout the day when it's all the same. It might change up uh, within the next week or so, but for right now it's kind of the same. But I just woke up, it's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon, but I stayed up until like 7 o'clock in the morning editing videos, so that's why. But anyways, today is my refeed day, so that's a big reason why I'm recording this today. And my numbers for today are 250 carbs, um, 175 protein, and 45 fats. So I'm actually going to just track it as the day goes along. I usually have all my meals planned out for my actual dieting days. But my refeed days, I just like to go with the flow. But I do track my macros, obviously. But anyways, why don't we go ahead and check out what I'm weighing right now. And I might see what I weigh tomorrow. I'm weighing... 173.4 which is actually pretty good uh it's a just a small increase which is that's really what you want i was like 173.6 yesterday so i guess it was a pretty good increase i'm looking a little bit leaner i like it but anyways why don't we go ahead and see what we're eating for breakfast and i think you guys are gonna enjoy this ice cream I'm having ice cream for breakfast. This is like the best breakfast ever, but that's not all I'm having for breakfast. This is the first time I'm doing this actually, but I'm having one of these, one of these, and I'm having only one serving of cereal, which is actually, these are really good for uh, refeed days. Not a lot of fat in them, a lot of carbs, and that's what you need to do to get the job done. And then I'm having a half a serving of fat-free milk, and honestly, guys, one serving of this is nothing. It, it's absolutely nothing. On my last refeed day, I think I had three servings of this. So one is just not a lot to have. But, I mean, I'm having two ice creams with it. These are two brains to have. Skinny cows are awesome. I actually was not supposed to eat any of these yet, but I had one last night. Because uh, I just wanted to try one out. And I still woke up lighter today anyway, so it didn't really matter. But... Yeah, I'm excited to eat these. I haven't tried this one yet. This one has a lot more carbs than that one. That, well, not necessarily a lot, like 10 more carbs. But uh, low fat, I think, combined this meal is, what, 10 grams of fat, which is not bad at all. So that's it for my breakfast. I haven't made put the cereal in yet because I don't want it to get all soggy while I'm eating ice cream. But I'll do that after, and I'll catch you guys at the next meal. This, my friends, is one serving of cereal. So here we are guys with our second meal of the day and you don't know what it is but I get it every single day I have a refeed day there it is chicken fried rice it actually has shrimp in it too I tell my friends who's trying to gain weight that if you ate this meal with every other regular meal you ate you would definitely put on some quality weight but the problem with this meal is especially if somebody counting macros like I am is that the place I ordered this from don't have the macros up on any type of website or anything. It's kind of a local place. And so I just went and asked them really what all is in this. They said it's two cups of rice and six ounces of meat. Not going to lie, if you look at that, it's a little bit more than two cups of rice. So I kind of calculated my own set of macros for this, and I kind of rounded it up and gave a little leeway because I know it, I had a little bit more than what they say it is. I think I round this off at 100 grams of carbs, 45 grams of protein, and 15 grams of fat. So guys, I just got done with, uh, I had a softball game tonight. Uh, still got my jersey on here from um, for a church league I'm in or whatever. Me and a couple of my friends play. But afterwards, I rode with my parents to get some food, and I forgot to record it as I was getting the food. But what I got, I did this, I think, the la the not last time, the time before I had a refeed. Two eight counts of grilled chicken nuggets from Chick-fil-A. This is weird. Somebody just pulled up right next to me. And then I got a grande ice skinny mocha that I'm still trying to finish. With that and two eight counts of grilled chicken nuggets from Chick-fil-A. That's in total like, I think, 45 grams of protein and 
around 15 to 20 carbs. I'll have to calculate it all later. And then probably like five grams of fat in total, maybe six. And then the grande ice milk only has like 2.5, so I gotta remember how much chicken nuggets have. But I'm about to go to the gym now and do a workout. I gotta do 450 calories of cardio as well. So. All right, guys, it's 1:46 a.m. and I'm just now leaving the gym. Uh, I had a long cardio session came here after my softball game, so it was a long time. But I don't usually do this, but I'm drinking a muscle milk a light because I want to go home and eat some more ice cream so I want to have enough fat saved over and I didn't bring protein with me because I usually don't like drinking protein powder on my refeed days because my my uh, protein is lower and I want to just try to get as much tasty food in as possible but this has let's see it has four carbs 30 grams of protein and five grams of fat so not too bad I think I'll have like eight grams of fat left so I have to figure out what I'm gonna do but I will catch you guys at the next meal here we go guys with the posing for this episode and the reason I do the posing like this at the end of every episode is really just to track my progress and I can tell a big difference in between last episode and this episode with them being about two to three weeks apart because the first couple episodes were just each week and you couldn't really tell much of a difference week to week, but now after waiting a couple of weeks, I can see a big difference. And hopefully everybody out there can see a difference as well. If you go back and look at the last couple episodes, I'm sure you can see a big difference. My abs are st finally starting to get outlined. I mean, I know I'm, they're not, I'm not near as lean as I want to be, but I think in a, roughly 5 to 10 pounds, I should be under 10% body fat. And by that point, I really think I'm going to be where I want to be. But it's probably going to take another four weeks or so, but I'm really happy with my progress. I'm liking the way that I've kind of leaned out. I'm really enjoying myself. The diet's not too hard for me, and I'm making progress every single day. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. Let me know what you think about my progress so far, and I will catch you guys with my posing next episode. Time for the last meal of the day. Watching a little bit of Dexter as I eat this last meal. It's a beautiful day, guys. Actually, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm just now eating this last meal. But anyways, let me show you what I'm having. We are having 8 ounces of chicken with a little bit of calorie-free hot sauce. And just like with my breakfast, we are having two skinny cows, one with the cone, and the other is like a chocolate truffle. And this hit my macros absolutely just about perfect for today. It was 250, 45, 175. And as you see here, this is what I hit. I kept it as I... I uh, tracked it as the day went along and about hit it absolutely perfect. And I'm not going to lie, I usually, uh, I, I took chicken completely out of my diet because it just got old after a long time eating so much chicken. So I replaced it, you know, with uh, ground turkey and uh, ground beef. But I had to eat chicken with this meal because it's the lowest fat meat that I had. And I wanted to sacrifice for those uh, ice creams because... Those are freaking amazing. But anyways, that's going to do it for this episode of Cutting Coach by Chris Jones. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought about my progress and today's diet in the comment section below. I know it seems a little odd, but I bet you 100 bucks I'll weigh up tomorrow weighing a little bit lighter than I did today. But make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed this series. Let me know if there's any fitness topics you want me to cover, and I'll make a video on everything you guys want me to talk about. But I will catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.